Hey there, and welcome back to King's Quest Mask of Eternity. As you recall in the last episode, we arrived at the Realm of the Gnomes, got a new ranged weapon as well as some new armor, and successfully rotated this bridge here, to which we are now on the other side of. And now, we are going to continue our quest by talking to this gnome right here, because why not? What's up, gnomey? What do you dig for, good sir? A way out, Outlander. After a great trembler shook our world, we are now imprisoned here. I wish you much success, sir. Okay, that's all they say. We don't need to talk to any more of them. Let's get moving. Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, another spooky dark tunnel. Let's check it out. What? You think I'm gonna be scared of a puny little tunnel? <laughs> I don't think so, man. Alright, ready your ranged weapon. We got some foes up ahead. Starting with this rock demon. He's got him, but he's not the only one, though. There's a Batman tire hanging from the ceiling over there. this? Another set of doors? Hmm. Well, let's see where they lead. Hey, stranger. May I help you? Mayhap. What have you, good tradeswoman? I am the apothecary, stranger. A purveyor of potions, magics, alchemical formulae, and long lost spells. Behold me purgatives, curatives, restoratives, potions, powders, and other such. Which here is it ye be wanting? Ooh, uh, uh. A fine selection. Tis difficult to choose. Well, I guess we'll just start on the left and work our way around. Aye, the potion of shield. A fine choice, that. Twill shield ye whilst under attack. Behold, me very low price of 75 gold coins. Now, that's not a bad price for this item, but it's pretty common here, so we'll pass on that. On to the next item. Excellent selection, friend. This potion will render ye invisible to all but the keenest of eyes. For ye? A mere 100 gold coins. Okay, 100 gold coins is not mere, but this item is pretty rare, so I'm gonna grab a few of these. Would you like another? Yes, I would. Five more. Alright, what's next? That over there. Ah, me potion of strength. With it, you'll be stronger in all ways. Can be costly, but... I like your eyes. For ye, only 50 gold coins. Now, we are a little low on those, but I don't think we really need that many here. So we're gonna pass on that as well. Uh, next. Aye, curative mushrooms. Guaranteed to restore vigor to those in need. Heed me price of only three gold coins each. Woman, I got 329 of these. I don't need any more. Next. Healing crystals, I Very invigorating for those with deteriorating conditions. Heed me price of 20 gold coins each. Ah, what a bargain. We are going to get a lot more of these later. Like, a lot of them. And since I'm not using any healing items, I'm going to pass on these as well. Next. Ooh, what's this? Ah, the essence of Sun Tzu. Tis a very potent power enhancer, stranger. Fairly, I was thinking of removing it from sale altogether. Essence of Sun Tzu? I would certainly be interested in purchasing such. Well, I suppose it would be all right. But afore I sell ye such, I beg a task of ye. Pray, tradeswoman, what would you have me do? I require stock of three items. Bring me a piece of tree root, an object of iron, and a fragment of amber glow. If you do this, I shall then see fit to sell ye me essence of Sun Tzu. 
Consider it done, good merchant. Okay, looks like we're going on another scavenger hunt. Well, let's get to it then. Thank you for coming, traveler. Yeah, thank you. Let's get back up this tunnel. See what was around that bend. What do we got over here? A locked door. It is locked. Well, there's a lock right there. When in doubt, chop it. This lock is made of iron. What do you know? We already have the first item we need. Spray gun. Taste me steel. Give me that. Okay then. Well, since we've unlocked this door, let's see where it leads. Hmm. Ooh, money. Wait, I see Batmanses. Let's take care of them. Don't think you could escape me. I see you. Oops, I'm too high. There we go. Alrighty. Let's continue on. Now hold up. You see that bat manta up ahead? Something to note here. The bat mantas we are going to encounter in this particular area have a little quirk about them. I used to think for the longest time they just didn't give XP. That's only half true. They actually take away XP. So defeating the mantas in this area are actually going to reduce our experience level. So we're not going to take them out. Instead, we're going to make use of our newly acquired invisibility potions and run past them. Because there are a lot here and they will drain us a decent bit. See? Quite a few of them here. And that's not even all of them. Anyway, let's hurry on. Hmm? Watch this. Hmm. Bricks fill an opening in the wall here. Can we see inside? Uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, huh. Well, ready your blade. We've got two foes up ahead. Some rock demons. We gotta take them out. get our health back. Good. Let's carry on. Oh, looks like we can climb up. Well, up we go then. Let's see what all's up here. Uh, rock. That's nice. Zombies! Orange zombies. Oh, I always kind of thought these zombies looked like spaghetti. Don't ask me why. Got him. Let's make sure we get all their mushrooms. Don't want to miss out on any. Anything hidden. Did I get them all? Oh, there's one sneaky little devil. Alright. Something that's totally off the point here. This bundle of rocks actually contains a switch, so... We're gonna need to push it. I have no idea how this makes sense. Something else I want to say real quick. For whatever reason, the zombies in this realm can be a bit weird. If you, like, defeat one group and then leave the game, the other groups will not spawn. So if you want to get all of them, you have to hit them all in one run. Because there are two more groups we need to take out. But let's get on down. actually a door and would have been a wall had we encountered it the other way but never mind that rock monster head over here for cover we'll get a good vantage point on him Ooh, I'll 
I'll take that. All right. Uh, let's see what's back this way. A place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. That's great, but I just got here. I don't need this right now. Let's check another direction. Big pit. More zombies. Back off, I'm getting zombies. Back off, I said. Take that. Well, I guess we gotta jump it. Yeah. Alright. Ready that crossbow. We got another foe up ahead. This one can be a little bit tricky to deal with. It does me if you can, but if you can notice hits, that's okay. It's alright. Get our health back soon enough. Okay, that's not too bad. Give me that. We got another set of foes up here. Crystallized Batmantis. And he spotted us. This can be a little bit difficult to deal with. As long as we have a good amount of distance between us and them, we should be okay. There's still two more. Let's hit the one on the left first. And here I see us. in the corner there, but I still got him. Still one left. Let's see if we can't hit him. This guy's really sharp. Where is he? Oh, he went over there. Even better. Ah, okay, you caught me on an off day. But that's okay. We'll get our health back. Well, now they're gone. That's what they were just so keen about guarding. What is this stuff? That glowing substance. What could it be? Let's chop it. I carry a chunk of amber glow. Ah, the second item. I have already obtained some. All right, nice. That just leaves one item left to find. Let's get out of here. Back across the pit. We're heading back into uncharted territory. Let's get that bow back out. It's Batman. No doubt he's not the only one. Yep. Got him. Carry on here. Let's do so cautiously. There could be an opponent around any corner. Spriggan! Hey, Spriggy! Come and get some. I find it interesting that these guys don't die as the same in crossbow animation as they do in Daventry. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's take care of the other one. Check that out later. Let's clear off the rest of this area first. I see that. We can get a sneak attack on him by hitting him right over here. <laughs> I'm so devious. What else we got here? A couple Bant Mantas. They are down. Let's let's see what's over here first. Some barrels. What do they hold? Nothing. Mushrooms. Ooh, happy jumping mushrooms. The best kind. Okay, good. I think we can holster this for now. Let's move on. Uh, 
let's check this way first. Oh, another no. I already spoke to all of you. I don't need to hear any more. And this would be the top of the ramp. So this is another way to come up here. But the way I went through is actually a lot more efficient and requires a lot less backtracking. And it's just overall better. Well, now the air is all clear, let's check out this stairway over here. Let's see what's down here. Ready your blade. This is back to the company here. More spaghetti zombies. Bring it on. They are too bright. I mean, I guess they're dead. Still. Hey, where are you going? We ain't done. And we are fully leveled up, which is great. One, two, three. Great. That is all of the mushrooms. What do we have here? And I guess we gotta cross this near little bridge of death. Awesome, let's do it. Head to this dark, spooky, morbid cave. Ooh. Okay, there's an old guy here. Well, before we go talk to him, let's grab this elixir real quick. All right, old guy, what's up? Well met, aged one. Pray tell, why do you crouch in the darkness so? Woe betide us, young fellow. All is lost. Hope, dreams, aspirations. Naught is left but a dim spark of faith. I am this spark, personified in the aspect of the once proud people who long ago inhabited these tunnels. But as thou canst see, even I am dwindling away. But old one, faith is not gone. It can be found once again. Foolish lad, faith is not something to be found. It needs to be ignited and then embedded deep within the very soul of all people. Only the enlightened one can accomplish such a deed. The enlightened one? Who might that be? The incorruptible one who would gain the light of life. Would restore faith, hope, and new beginnings to humanity. The light of life? Pray, where would one begin to look? It is everywhere and nowhere. The enlightened one would know the answer. Tis a fair answer, aged one. No, it isn't. Tend carefully your faith. From a small spark can still a blaze grow. I have not yet given up. Thank thee, lad. Okay, man, you got issues. Uh, we can talk to him about one other thing. Pardon me, aged one. I have a question. Do you believe that the light of life could be gained within the darkness of these tunnels? I cannot answer that, young fellow. Only the enlightened one would have such knowledge. Indeed. Thank you. Yeah, it helps a whole ton. There actually are a couple items we can show him. Starting with this beautiful purple pyramid. That crystal, take it away! It signals the end of all hope. Sheesh, man, what do you have against purple? And we can also show him a piece of the mask. That golden object. A feeling of hope flows from it. Protect it well, lad. Huh. Alright. Looks like there's some uh, shards over there. Let's check those out. A cluster of crystal shards. Hmm. Let's chop it. I carry a clouded crystal shard. Hmm. I already carry a crystal shard. Hmm. Well, let's show this to the old man. See what he has to say about it. Hey, old guy, look at this thing. Hark, old one, I have discovered this crystal shard. Might it be related to the light of life? 
That would be of no use to thee. Only those with hope can utilize those crystals. Still, I feel faint stirrings within me. A good sign. I shall keep searching, sir. Yeah, let me search somewhere else. Far away from this morbid place. <laughs> All right, then. I do believe I am going to call it an episode here. I will see you back at where we climbed down from, where that strange wall door was. So, I will see you the next one where we journey deeper into this dark, gnomey tomb place. Later.